<laughs> Healthy. Ah. Day zero, we just got to the Albergue in Oviedo. So we got a private, which is great. But now we're gonna go just kind of walk around Oviedo because we don't feel sore yet because we haven't done anything. Day one of the Camino Primitivo. So we're in Oviedo, walking to possibly Grado today. We don't have any plans or reservations. We're gonna see what's happening because we're kind of in this little pilgrim bubble right now, which is normal when you're leaving a big town. Everyone's all going at the same time. The rain has finally stopped. Let's hope it stays this way all day. Point to the horse. There's a horse in the field. There's some cows in front of me. Life's good. <laughs> So it's 10.30 a.m. The sun is finally out. We've been walking pretty non-stop. We just had two really short packs off breaks to eat some apple and bread that we had in our bags. So we got our coffee in Oviedo, so we're okay for now. I'm trying to get some miles in because we really don't know where we are in this pilgrim bubble. There's so many people. I'm trying not to lean into that bed race fear, but that's always hard for me. I really don't like not knowing where I'm going to sleep. <laughs> and I'm trying to embrace it a little bit. <laughs> trying. We had a great lunch, but we decided to push onwards because we feel good about it. And our new friend, Sarah, Sean are laughing at me for talking to camera. <laughs> we feel strong because it's day one. We're not sore yet. Let's go. about 7.15, so we're starting a little later today, which is nice, we're not going as far. Yesterday, I can't believe how far we pushed ourselves. I kept feeling good, it's a beautiful day so far. Hopefully we don't get any rain. Let's get ready to hit the trail. <laughs> good job, boy's a good boy. Well, we gotta go.
nice relaxing cafe on the road. <laughs> Don't miss stopping in Corneana because you gotta get the caraguito cookie. It's like a walnut. Delicious pastry thing. And they're famous here. Heading out of Corneana. There's a beautiful monastery here where it has an albergue, so you can make it to Corneana. It's apparently a real nice place to stay. So we're heading to Salas today for lunch, and then we'll see how we feel. We're probably going to push on from there. No reservations yet. No ideas. <laughs> it's still really early. It's like not even 10 o'clock yet, so plenty of, plenty of day left to make decisions. Yeah. Goodbye. So good at YouTube. <laughs> so this woman just told us to ignore the plinth and go this way and go to that house and keep going. And we're like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. And we look on the guide and like, she's totally right. They've rerouted the Camino recently. Also, there's like two sets of arrows here. There's this plinth and then there's a back of a stop sign that actually shows to go the opposite of the plinth. So I'm going old school. <laughs> Thanks, lady in a Toyota Celica. Never mind. <laughs> We're almost to the road, and a different woman's like, what are you doing? The, the Camino's back that way. And I'm like, another woman told us this way. She's like, no, she's crazy. <laughs> so, back to the plinths. Hola, buena. Uh, Podemos hacer uh, una reserva para dos personas uh, esta noche? Será por el descanso. Ah, vale. Uh, Muchas gracias. Okay, chao. Asking if we have reservations. I'm gonna say we need to make one. We love Spain. This is the hospitalera <laughs> we're gonna stay with tonight, giving us kissy faces. <laughs> okay, so we were too early for food because we got into town at like 12:30. But now it's 1:30 because we just had a drink and Sean had some. We got a small sandwich. Now we're gonna go get a menu of the day at a pretty famous place, I guess, for the area, Casa Pachon. Because I'm so hungry. <laughs> Lunch time. Oh, we're so full. And now we're trying to leave Salas. <laughs> it's like three o'clock. Oh, the pilgrim parade has started. We have about eight and a half kilometers to go on these full stomachs, and it's a big climb ahead. and just whipping around. <laughs> Today is going to be great. We're leaving La Espina and we managed to get a reservation tonight for a town before the one we wanted to go to. Better than trying to get to the Municipal Albergue, which is the only thing available in Bertaceto that only has 19 beds and opens at 1 p.m. So I was like, I don't want to race 28 kilometers to get there because we won't get there. It's raining harder now, which feels uh. good. Those horses 
they're so stout. Look at mama, she's like, do you have oats? Lady loves cows, cows like lady fine. It might have been a short section, but that was a really stressful Watch your road head. walk. There's like big trucks coming through. No shoulder. Oh. I like the rain because it keeps everyone else off the trail. We saw one dude today, which is crazy because we're like in a bubble of pilgrims and everything's booked, but in the rain, just you and the cows and the horses. Hooray for rain. So if you're in Teneo, you gotta get a coffee right here because it was the best and she loves pilgrims and she's so sweet. She's got a good stamp. It's just what you need if it's chilly like it is today. Oh, okay, dance video. manure spreader. So this is the town of Carayillo and it's a great place to resupply. We almost stayed here and then we got a cancellation uh, WhatsApp message from the albergue I really wanted to stay at so instead we're gonna push on to the other albergue. This town though it looks like it's got some cute spots to stay. It's got some great little cafes and two really well equipped stores so you can really stock up on all the things that you need, even though there's lots of farm equipment. <laughs> we were going uphill, so I gotta catch my breath first. <laughs> Finish it. Ooh, we're really stuck. Pass out. <laughs> That's our little cubby. It's got like a big bed up there. And then the common room. I'm so glad we made it to San Blismo, Albergue. This place is amazing. I'm in the Horeo, which has a rocking couch with just the best view and all the yoga equipment and things. We were so happy that the cancellation happened so that we could stay here. It just makes tomorrow so much shorter. Fingers crossed we get good weather so we can do the Hospitales route tomorrow, which is way shorter than detouring all the way down and around to pole up. All right, stay tuned. Stopping in, don't miss stopping in Corneana. That's where we are, right? Yeah, don't miss stopping in Corneana because you gotta get the carajito cookie. It's like a walnut, delicious pastry thing, and they're famous here. That was all pure outtakes. <laughs>